Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine Skye and we are back on day two of our factory here. Um, yeah, and huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful uh, supporters through Patreon and elsewhere. If you guys are interested in uh, becoming a patron through Patreon, I would very, very much appreciate that. Um, check out the link below. And um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get stuff going. Uh, oh, I mean, we'll, yeah, I'm going to get stuff going in the factory is what I meant to say. <laughs> anyway, uh, we can move these uh, structures. So I'm going to, I'm going to control X this. Uh, actually, let's do one at a time and then control X U and then delete you guys. And then we'll move the um, science later because I want to get... Uh, we now have automatic production of iron, which is great. So we need to get that uh, properly put down. Let's go and get our belt creation first. Let's put that here. I am scrolling through this with shift mouse wheel, by the way. And then let's put you there. Excellent. Very, very good. We also need to make several of these inserters, like more than one, more than five like several. All right, you go out of there. Actually, let's go and stand here for now. You put there, dude. I need you to put closer, dudes. Little dudes. One other thing I, I was gonna do is I, I wanna put in the ore here just because, so we can feed some of these machines because we're gonna build um, other things soon. Okay, let's take this and go there. So now we have a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's put in these plates there and that way we can get stuff moving. You move there. Um, bots, I'm gonna turn them off for now because I need, I need more things. Let's go and grab more copper. And we can put this in the box with control left click. Just drops it right into the box. Let's get that in there. Okay, and those are the essential ones for this area. Now we can turn the bots back on and so they can uh, allow us to put down more stuff. I also forgot to put down a miner or a mining program to make furnaces. So we wanna do that first and put in There we go. All right, and the power poles, no. There we go. So now these will mine and they are forcing stone into this thing, which makes it work up unto the stack size of 50. So you can get 50 uh, furnaces for this. We The first thing we probably wanna do is make a smelting production line for copper. That is another thing that we want to do. So let's do that. Let's just do that. Um, let's get these chips and get these things. One of the things we are going to need masses of, let's make some of those while we can. We are going to need masses of inserters. So those are going to need to be made. These are going to be gears. And then this is gonna be inserters. We'll make two stacks. It's important to limit the chest. I'm just clicking this X to make only two squares available of this chest because you don't wanna make like a billion inserters. I mean, I guess you can technically, but it's not not very optimal at this point in the in the time of our factory. Now we need to put in a an inserter there. I would like to have some, uh, actually some uh, a circuit condition there, but we can't afford circuits right now because we don't have the technology. Oh no. Um, yeah. So let's see these while we're waiting for this. Um, I think we're, we might have an issue with running out of copper. So wait, eh? Oh, we didn't pick up those yet. Whoops. So I was going to just, um, get rid of these and just kind of move those on over here and recycle the, furnaces as well 
for other projects and just go ahead and put this coal in here. Now, the other thing we can do is do a little bit of sneakiness here and move this just simply instead of relying just on that box uh, in the world. Let's move them here. So if we put down a this there and do a that there, oopsies, let's see. I'm pressing shift and just walking, moving my character with WASD, and that will allow you to, uh, well, your bots will get rid of the trees. If you're playing without bots, then you're gonna have to hand mine all these trees, it's annoying. So anyway, um, that's gonna be good. Let's see, get rid of, oh, I didn't wanna do that actually. Uh, that's okay, I used up too many chips is why I say I didn't wanna do that. But it is okay, um, we are working pretty well here. We could speed this up by putting another inserter there. That's going to be better. Yep, yep, yep. Um, we could probably make a couple more fast inserters while we have the ability to. Let's go ahead and put fast inserters on our hotbar and put them where they are needed, basically. Oh, okay. Uh, what else needs this one? They, yeah, gears always need a huge injection of um, iron plates. See, these need one gear, so yeah, that's fine. One per craft is just fine. And then the rest of these plates, we can just chuck in here uh, for now. Well, hmm, hmm. Probably we could give them to science, but that's okay, we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, we need to make many more miners. Oh, not those, not those, no, 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 no. These other miners, yeah, with circuits. We need circuits. So let's see, that's 38 inserters. Let me just go ahead and, and get some circuits being made real quick. Um, hmm. mm, I kind of want to do a whole circuit array. Oh no. We can do the next best thing, shall we? Copy, let's copy these two together. Oh, all right, let's do this. Control V. Okay, so you. Let's make a limit here of two stacks. That's 200 circuits. Again, we're gonna shift right click to copy, shift left click to paste, and that pastes those, uh, those limitations on the chest as well. So now here, what we can do is have one green circuits going into the inserters because we are going to need many inserters. And then the others can just go into mining drills, which we're gonna craft by hand for now. All right, so one thing we wanna start doing is actually building our bus. So let's just get that going. And um, let's see, I wanna build the copper um, smelting operation first. So let's grab that. Now, I guess if we're gonna stick to the kind of like rules for this, um, might be a bit difficult because the very first thing we need to do is make green circuits and making green circuits uh, requires a lot of copper and a lot of iron. So after we make a little bit of green circuits, we're going to need an injection onto the bus literally as soon as we make them. So that is not ideal. Okay, forgive me, I need to get my bearings again because I was just interrupted with a phone call that lasted for 40 minutes over a Zoom call. And so I have been in a completely different universe for a tiny bit. All right, we have this going. I think we just set up our copper, uh, copper stuff. Um, and we needed to get some miners here. We definitely need a lot of miners. So let's go ahead and pick up some more green chips if we can. More inserters, of course. More belts, of course. Oh my God, all of the inserters are being eaten alive by this uh, setup here. So um, I think, hmm, let's leave this for a moment because we're not gonna need everything for a moment. 
What we want to do though is we want to move this splitter up here. Uh, let's make some splitters. Let's make more splitters. We need oh we need iron plates. Okay, fun, fun. Sure, let's do that. Let's just grab some iron plates in general. Okay, now we can make 20 splitters. That sounds great. Let's make a couple of fast inserter packs. Packs of fast inserters. Let's do that. Also, we need to check on power. How's power going? Eh. Power is down. Okay, so to check on power, first of all, if you mouse over, you can see that it is not green. It is yellow. We're using more power than we're producing. This shows here satisfaction is not being met. So that's kind of the whole point here. Um, anyway, let's see, I need to tell my mom something. There we go. Um, right, so we need to make more um, stuff. Let's make three, one, two, three. And then this is six because we need twice as many of those as those. And then after that, we make pipes, okay? Um, because pipes will get eaten by these structures, uh, and then you'll have to make more pipes anyway. So what we'll do here is we're going to copy just the center bit and add it here because we do not need a power pole. So then we're going to copy this bit, which has the power poles, and put it next to, okay? And this is going to be our... Uh, our repeating structure here. Let's uh, let's take this along a little bit. So these need to be replaced with regular inserters. We do not need fast inserters ever to deal with this. So don't bother with that. Actually, let's do this instead. And these, oh, I get, they can be there. I was just gonna put them toward the end. Anyway, so that's gonna be our structure that we're gonna follow here. I guess we probably need another um, set of stuff. So let's just buy one more of these and two more of these. And that should get us to have all of these things here in place. All right. And yep, now it gets fuel. Okay. And there's our thing. So now we can look and see how much production we have now production with steam engines. Uh, oh, we need to connect the water. <laughs> well, that's kind of important. Just slightly, just slightly important. Um, I'm going to make a few of these and then make pipes after because, again, these will eat pipes for breakfast. So now we look. Now it's a good way to look. Mm -hmm. So production is down this much. Uh, that means we're using, what is this, like 15% or something uh, of, of our total capacity for power. Now, steam engines are smart, right? They will adjust themselves. You see the power output on this steam engine? They are gonna burn coal efficiently in the boilers and only use what we need. So steam engines are smart like that. Uh, let's go and pick up some more of these because this machine stops if it gets uh, a full stack. So now we're back in Copper Town. Uh, we need to move this thing. So let's just take this there. And I forgot to put a priority on this. It should be priority to the left to go to the steam engines before it goes to these um, uh, smelting columns. Also, let's let's go ahead and improve this a little bit. Just put a few more iron miners there. And let's go ahead and build more miners. We need to go and get more of everything. Let's just do that. Okay, we have enough belts, uh, but we don't have enough inserters. Oh, yeah, we didn't have enough of iron, so it's a good thing we put down those miners. Uh, let's build a couple more, maybe. I do want to save some for copper uh, right now. So, but we definitely need more miners to, to keep up with our demand of just the simple amounts of buildings that we have, which is not a lot. So here, why did we make this space? Because we need to transfer copper to the left. So copper is going to go this way. And I'm going to make a filtered deconstruction planner because I do not have my mod. I, there's another mod I like. It's called Tree X-Ray. Basically lets you see through the trees. But we're going to right click this, click trees and rocks only, press escape, and then we're going to delete these things. Delete the true enemy trees so you can see things. They block our vision. They're naughty. Anyway, let's see. Do any of these... Yeah, they do get coal on this side, so we need to have these guys operating 
here. And then we can delete, um, yeah, delete a few of these right now. Let's see, can we, yeah, now we need more uh, miners. Many more miners, oh no, we need, we need, we need. Okay, we don't have these, what do we need? We just need iron, okay. That's a big ask, but we'll try, we'll try. Try to get some iron. Normally it's not iron that is the problem. It is not normally gonna be green circuits, but that's okay. Let's see, build 10, let's go. So now this side needs electricity. So we're gonna go ahead and build poles back here. Now, normally we want a lot of throughput because we're gonna try to get as many lines of stuff as possible. Um, and I think, I think maybe we should actually do two lines of copper just because we want to do green circuits first and then maybe we'll transition to one line of copper. Let's do that because green circuits is a huge, huge issue, uh, with stuff. So what I'm going to do is we'll just place these down this way. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dude. Eh keeps getting stuck because I keep crafting them in my inventory so it's like yeah all right all right let's just do that for now now this is gonna be let's just take that coal off the end so it's proper we're going to do this thing directly into this thing so we're gonna do input priority from the right very important that it takes this column first because this affects our coal production which you should not um mess with do not mess with the coal production actually actually this can go this way we don't have to have that long of a belt over there so let's take that off and take this off okay and this side also needs some power so let's just take this over there yay okay boom nice um these are not working because they have no coal so let's just okay i gave you too much sorry Okay, so let's let those keep producing just for a tiny bit longer while we get this stuff on. Um, looks like we need iron. Now we have iron. Look at this. It's backing up now. That's pretty great. Let's pick up the belts that we need. Uh, there we go. Pick up these and now and inserters. So these guys, these two production lines we need to go up. Now then, uh, the next bit we're going to do is we're just going to copy these and these are going to be the, uh, these guys. So let's see. We can well, it doesn't really matter how we do this. We can just go along. I'm just doing a simple copy and paste here. Okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, using bots is very convenient. So let's take this one over as well. There we go. Okay, yay. So we haven't hooked this one up yet because we don't even have enough iron for the first one yet. You can see how... The belt is not saturated, and this array of 48 furnaces is for a saturated belt. So, yeah, that's important. Now this, <clears throat> this area here, is um, not functioning just yet, because firstly, it doesn't have any uh, power. So let's get that working. And then it also does not have any coal. So we're going to have to, we probably have to move this up a second time, actually. Uh, let's put this up here. And. Um, oh, no, we can do a, a different thing. We can do a thing like this, but make sure it goes output priority to the right. Yeah, and we just connect it that way. That's easier. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to get coal along this line here. I'm sorry about the, the lighting situation here. We are a bit in the dark, a tiny bit in the dark. <clears throat> but that will improve in just a bit. So we have a lot of um, 
We can make more power poles while we're waiting on this. And we can also make more boxes if we had more iron. That would be nice. Let's make a few more boxes. We can also do wooden chests. And <clears throat> let's get these guys, these guys. This is our like pre mini 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 mall. Love the mini malls. It's good. Now here, do we need to go up that far? Probably not. There's actually another iron ore patch right up here. That might be where we start our uh, injection coming from. We might put that on a train and call that good. Okay, there we go. So this is the beginning of our bus, hooray. And this is not going to go far. We're going to want to build green circuits right away over here. So we do have a blueprint for this. And unfortunately, I don't have my blueprint book. Do I? I think I made the blueprint book after this particular book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording. All right, so I'm going to record how I do this because I do get a lot of questions on this. First of all, when you click on the BP link in my Google Drive, do not use the Google Preview. The file is too big and Google will cut it off. Um, so download the file, the TXT file, open the file, Control A to select everything, and then Control C to copy it. Then go to um, Import String. This is import blueprint string. This is not a map string, by the way. I, cr I press control V to copy and click import. It's big. So what you're gonna wanna do, you can put it there or even better, you can actually put it in, press B and put it in your universe, right? So I, is that the same thing? I think it's the same thing if I click this. Anyway, this is my Factorio Framework book. Um, by the way, my blueprints are a little bit odd because what happened is I was using, uh, I had to go back a version, so it deleted all of them. And I'm like, I like some stuff from like way back. I mean, I did clean it out a bit. Yeah, I have a folder called Random Crap. Mm -hmm. But I did um, coordinate uh, a lot of stuff into the Factorio Framework book. So this is the book you would be getting. And anyway, we have a lovely uh, book for early game. We have green circuits right here. Now this is a repeatable design, which is kind of denoted here by the, the green lines, um, which means that you can press shift and move your cursor uh, in order to make multiple copies and it will kind of like jump, right? So let's put it here where we have all of the things after turning the curve. Let's go and shift, left click, and then I'm gonna walk, walk, walk. That should be enough for now. But yeah, did you see how it jumped and it doesn't like mess up the blueprint? That's what you're looking at. That's what you're looking for, I should say. So anyway, let's just go ahead and completely devote these lines to um, copper. So now it looks like we are definitely gonna need, so the outside lines are copper. The two going upward are these two and these two are iron and coming down is four green circuits. Now it's not likely you'll ever get to four green circuits, but yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's do a thingy there and a thingy there and we need more thingies clearly. And then this one can go here. And let's remove this. Actually, mm, uh, the mm, 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 I don't know. It's fine. It is fine. Okay, so this one goes here. There we go. So these are using blue assemblers. We need to figure out if we can get blue assemblers. Let's see. Look at our T thing. Can we get blue assemblers yet? Probably not. They're probably yeah. The green science. Okay. Let's use. Let's do optics instead. We do not lose our progress by the way if you change science so that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and grab up all this copper from here also this needs to be fixed okay we also need more thingies thingies for the thingy thingies yeah all right 
Let's grab some of this iron down here. And then these, these, and we need assembling machines. I should make those, that blueprint with like gray assemblers because you would always have to do that. You know, there's not a time where you wouldn't have to do that. So that was just silly of me, I think. All right, so that's good. Let's give this stuff. You can always just give your ore to um, the furnaces with control left click. I actually have to look down what I'm doing because it's like, it's so ingrained. I'm like, I know what to do. It's kind of cool. So, all right. Um, yeah. Oh, these are missing iron. Ah, oh, that was unexpected. Okay. I thought they were going to be missing copper. Apparently not. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's just grab a little bit of iron here. Well, by a little bit, I mean a ton. There are eight pieces of iron per belt segment. So we got 837 there. Uh, it is quite an amount per thing. Okay, so here we go. Let's, um, it's two, uh, two iron to one copper stack. Well, two iron to one copper is the ratio. One, two, okay, there we go. So now we should be able to get some stuff there going. Um, and that, that comes from the recipe here. If you want to check, you see two iron, one copper. So that's what I'm putting in those chests there. Okay. Um... Yeah, I want to get the optics so I can put some lights so you can see a little bit better. It's a bit pitiful right now. Okay, so why are we having these issues? It looks like not enough coal, perhaps. Um, and that is going to be remedied by adding a coal miner, I think. Somewhere. We're going to have to be sneaky. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sneaky is definitely going to be the word of the day here. Because I want this to go into here without joining the main line. It's kind of important that we don't join the main line, because otherwise we're just going to have a whole bunch of miners that are filtering, and it's going to overclog the line. We don't want to do that. That's not great. Oh, ran out of bits. Ran out of bits and pieces. Good. Okay, so now this is going to add more coal onto the main line here. Um, it is after this one, so maybe we should put this one after because um, so that one will get the benefit of having more coal as well. Then again, we're going to output priority left to feed the energy production first. Super important to do that. You always want to feed your energy production first. So how are we looking on, okay, we're at 50% of power usage. You see how it goes up real quick? Yeah, that's what's happening. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a, um, well, firstly, we need more fastensers. We definitely need more fastensers. Um, and I think we can use them. Um, but what we wanna do also is replace, I'm gonna do a downward replacement on the upgrade planner. So we need to program that in. We're going to go from blue machines to gray. And we are going to carefully replace these so we have functional groups. We don't want to just do the whole thing and it only replaces the inner things because then you're not going to get anything done. Okay, so we have four left. So let's just do this section here. And then we can make two more. So it'll replace that one. Okay, so now we can get those going, but we just need some power. So here we go, boom. So now we should be able to get things going, except we have no inserters, so let's make some. Oh, they're going too far away. So if you, I forgot how to look. If you can do, oh my God, our square is huge. So this is our area where we can do robots. It's massive. Ay ay ay, gotta gotta be careful when we're on the edge there and wanna only replace certain stuff. That's kind of needed. Okay, let's see. Can we make 61? That sounds like a great amount. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let's pick up some more of these and we just need 
more iron basically to feed this. Do we have, we do have some more mining drills. So let's just take those on down and let those go there. Can I make more? Yes, I can. But we need more, we need more stuff. All right, let's pick up more iron. Just completely starve our production. It's fine, don't worry, it's fine. Soon we won't even need that production because we're gonna have proper mull stuff and it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna turn off the bots right now. Oh, actually they are working. They are actually working, yay. All right, we did get our optics going on there. So um, let's continue logistics science and then, wait, dude, did it not accept my command? We'll disable achievements. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Did that? Okay, there it goes. Now this is the proper display for seeing stuff. So after we get this, I want to get a tool belt so we have more inventory space. That's nice. Um, I do want to work toward these machines. So for that, we're going to need steel and the logistics science pack. So let's start the steel as well. Um, all right. And so then we have stuff. Hooray. Now, all of these are not splitting into this thing. They are just going into this thing. So I think it might be time to find and make some injections here onto the bus. Um, and normally, actually, it's funny because normally this is what I do um, with uh, Factorio is I have dedicated lines initially to go to green circuits. Now, I don't remember <laughs> where we had copper. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't remember where we had copper at all. No idea. There's coal here. That's nice. That's a good thing. We can use that for sure. It's an extra bit of coal. Let's see if we can find some copper somewhere. Let's just go down from here. I think... So these are chunks. There's like two chunks here. Um, but I think if we go like in stripes, uh, a patch is probably going to be more than one chunk wide. So we have stone here. That's quite nice. And later we can just fill it in with, oh, you know what we need? We need radars. Of course, that's what we normally do. So let's, um, I'm going to take a radar. Uh, can I make one? I can. I can make 31 of them. Oh my God. That's fantastic. So we're going to take the coal off because we don't care anymore. We're not feeding anything with coal. Um, we can also just take these off. We don't really need those at all. Uh, and the wood as well. But let's take put a, a radar down here. And we're going to just walk with the power poles until we get back to our factory. Now, radars are super important in this game. They help us to discover places, as we're going to use this one for. And they also help us to see locations. And that is important for when you have bots... Uh, so you can see the blue square on the mini map here. This is what the radar will cover. And if you look on your map, it will be always illuminated. Like on here, you can zoom in and see this radar and see the patch. Whereas out here, it's just pixelated. So having um, a radar to show you like where a train breaks down or where your factory parts are is super important. This is kind of a necessary thing, I would say. It's pretty necessary. So let's put this one kind of at max distance from the other one. Let's see, that looks like max distance. Yeah, right there. So let's put one right there and then we'll get some power to this one as well. Oh, we don't have any more power poles. Oh, that's not good. Okay, hold on. Let's just do five at a time so it like make some as we're walking. Okay, and then we'll do the whole the whole kit and caboodle at the end. There we go. Okay, so now you see we have this bigger area. Now, what I usually do is I actually run towards several corners. Like I'll go, you know what, let's do that. Let's just do the thing. Because this is kind of an important thing that you will need to do eventually with your factory anyway. So, oops. So to make them just go at max distance, you click, left click on the power pole, and then you just walk. Uh, and keep the button held. You, you keep holding down on it. So I'm going to go out into the middle of nowhere where it can scan all the squares around. 
and give us some more data on this area. Looks like we're coming up. I know there's the that big lake above us, so I kind of don't want to scan too much of that, but at least it'll give us something. Let's see. Here's what we have so far. This one will scan a little bit out here. We probably want to go down here to where the oil is as well. So let's do that. Um, I do feel like I would like to make a few more radars. But eventually, yeah, what I usually do is when you have a like a train network, you want to put your radars along the entire line of the train network as well. But when you have an area open to you like that, you can um, make commands with the robots to build things for you, uh, which is super handy, really handy. Okay, so let's go down here. Q, click, go. And later, we may or may not use these power poles. We can get rid of them. Uh, I usually have a blueprint with um, power poles attached to the railroad blueprint. So we don't technically need um, these power poles until... But for now, what we're doing is we're just scanning land. That's what we want to do is just scan this land around. And the, um, I'll show you in a second once the, uh, the uh, radars have had a chance to work it for a bit. Actually, they have right now, I think tab okay so okay so what's happening here radars scan kind of i think they scan in a in a circle around and they'll go around and then bigger radius bigger radius bigger radius like in a spiral so it's scanning these two ocean bits right now uh this one is scanning this part port right now and what they're doing is they'll find out what's there and you can see stuff like uranium or other ores but um it will not be active where you can actually like you know look at it and manipulate it for a long time i think that it'll it stays there for a couple of seconds like this one can we do anything here yeah we can do stuff in there until it goes dark and then it's going to scan the next sector but we can't see the scanning here because it's already revealed to us uh i think um you know i i feel like i know surprisingly little about radars for the amount of time i played this game anyway that seems to be a good good thing overall uh, and we'll find out if there's any copper that we can um, tap to refill our bus. And we don't need any, you know, extra stuff at uranium yet. We'll get there eventually. We'll be fine. We do want to make some lights. Can we afford those? No, we need copper. So let's go and grab some copper from the array there. All right, this is this is not relevant anymore, so we'll just delete it completely. Okay, there we go. Get this stuff out of here. Do we need this inserter thingy? Yeah, I think we do, actually. So let's just take this over there. Just keep that going. Yeah, we don't have a replacement for these yet. Oh, this needs... Uh, mm, it needs... These uh, chips. Green chips. So do we have any yet? What's going on here? Hello? Why are these not making? They're not getting any plates. Oh, because this... Mm, yeah. Whoops. Uh, no, we need circuits for that. Oh, no! Okay, let's grab these so we can build circuits. Let's get rid of these. Oh my god, the power poles are still working. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so here we go. We're making green chips to make splitters. Oh dear god. Yeah, the, the problem is, is we did this side, but we don't have any production of iron on that side. So what I wanted to do is split them. Um, for now we can do a right click of this. Well, actually that doesn't work well because it's only going to send like five. But it's good. It'll give us something actually. So that's okay. Okay. So now we can get this going. Hello. Give us our splitter, please. Dude. Did they? Oh my god. They. Hmm. Dude. Okay, okay, 
You know what? Dude, not okay. No. There we go. Ah, <sighs> sometimes I swear. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes the things don't go as you want them to. All right, so let's just give a little bit more belt storage here. Um, but what I want to do is we want to technically go over the four group of stuff and then build our own lines here. All right, there we go. So now we're going to have a little bit of belt storage where we can grab up these uh, lovely green circuits. Now these lines are going to continue on here. Uh, we want them to continue on because that's where we're going to get our new injection for the bus. Now I really would like to find some copper so that we can get that going. But first we actually need trains to, to, um, to move the material. So we might have to do temporary uh, splitters and things like that in order to get stuff where we need it to go, at least initially. You know, initially we need this. I'm not going to do it the whole time. I'm not going to break my own rules. I, I haven't even set out any rules. Did you see how sneaky I was? That was great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, yes. Um, right. So let's turn robots back on. And I would like to do this. Yes. And I would really like to build our belt array. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna build a huge mall. I think I think I kind of want to build just a small boutique style mall. So let's get these going. Bots can take care of that. Super easy, nice. Okay, let's look in our book here. We need to look at the malls. First of all, we want to get our belt array going on. Now this is just to make uh, belts. Um, actually, control Z. Let's take that off. Uh, since we might have an injection right there, I'm going to leave a little bit of space. Let's go with this. You always want to leave a little bit of space. And also for some piping and stuff like that as well. So let's do the boutiques, um, the mini mall here. The big mall is big. Um, I want to do the mini. I like the mini mall. It's fun. It is fun. We'll just kind of align it a little bit with the other thingy. So there we go. We really don't need to do much of this thing for quite a while. But yeah, this is going to take a massive amount of materials to finish and work on. So it's good that we have access to a lot of stuff right now. Actually, having those iron and copper plates down here was pretty handy. I kind of like that. But in general, in the beginning of the game, you will never need copper plates in your inventory unless you're making lights which we do need to do. So let's go and get some. Um, but in general, you do not need to have copper plate in your inventory at all. Let's make a few of these. Okay, or we could just do this. Did we get any copper cable? Six, that's not a lot. <laughs> that's not a lot. Okay, let's skip this and we'll make some more stuff and things. Oh, bots doing their thing. Look at how many green circuits we have. This is so sexy, it's great. All right, so we had copper on these lines. We're going to need to get the iron from these lower lines here. So let's just do that. And control. Uh, no, we want to do this. Deconstruction. We'll just copy this structure here. And then just fill in. Okay, and then these guys just gonna be oh wait whoa whoa this is wrong no control x this whole thing basically uh it's always wise to have two spaces between uh groups of belts there we go Okay, bots, where are you? Hello. There we go. <laughs> that was weird. That was very, very weird. Okay, we have so many green circuits. It's crazy good. Nice. Okay, so here, this goes here. Go do this and connect and life is better. Better, better, better. All right, let me just um, see. 
How far? All right, I just wanted to build that stuff. Good. So let's build some of these. Move one of those and skip the lights for now. We have plenty. Okay, there we go. And then we can build more lights after. It's kind of interesting because you can, um, uh, like just shove stuff to later and then you have a down moment where you don't even think about it and that's where you can really get some stuff done. Okay. We need more machines though as well. We need more iron. Oh, iron, iron, iron. There we go. Grab more, 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 more. Yay. See, lamp's already done and I didn't even like have to think about it. Okay, do these have lamps in the blueprint? They do. So these will light up at night. Hooray! See these? We really need to just move until we are there. Okay, and then we're going to be able to make our assembling machines. Now, it does look like we ran out of uh, materials for the toolkit, so we don't need to do that. Okay, so now we're just getting the machines in here, which is great. That means we can definitely start moving some of this material onward so let's see i'm gonna do this and this uh oh no 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 not that not exactly that no this here i knew it looked wrong i was like what what is going on here i'm just not seeing it straight that's why it ain't good it ain't good at all no 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 all right we need to get more of these Okay, those are going to get put into our belt array. Really important to get this belt array up and going um, because that is going to make both regular belts, undergroundies, as well as splittery dues. Those are important. Let's see, how is that going? Okay, now we're a little bit further. I forgot where we're supposed to stand. There we go. Okay, we're supposed to stand right there, not on a moving belt. We stand next to this tree just below this section of stuff and things. Okay pretty great so now power poles are needed to connect the various arrays together otherwise they won't function at all there we go and these are all blue machines so we need to get blue machines going but for now we can actually get um our things going now we do need some steel for these steel chests and there's a reason that they are made out of steel and that reason is because you'll want to upgrade them to buffer chests later. And steel is a version of a chest that is um, unique, right? So there are certain ones you upgrade to certain kinds of chests and others you, you upgrade to others. So a steel is going to turn into a green buffer chest at some point. All right, so what's going on in here? Why? Oh, oh, that's not now we can get going. I forgot we didn't have green signs made. Of course we need green signs for tool belts. Silly me. What a silly thought. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get these going. That's fine. Um, we're going to need more of these sometime. Here, take my stone. Take it all. Oh, you can't take it all. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, um, we have a lot of stuff uh, done. We have lights. We have things and stuff. Life is good in Factorial Land right now. It really is. Let's put in a couple of lights here so we can see our mining fields. Hooray. Let's see what our map. Have we found any copper yet? Not yet. But the radar takes a while. It does take a while. So be patient. It'll be fine. I know the feeling. I'm not a patient person with stuff like this. So it'll be fine. Just have to cry just a tiny bit. But it's okay. Crying is allowed. I, you might not have known that, but crying is allowed, especially if you're doing something like C block. Why is that light not illuminating? It's under a power pole. Turned off during daytime. Oh, it must be that that secret tiny portion of the day where, like, light is um, where it, where some of the lights turn off and some don't, which is a really beautiful thing, by the way. The devs did that way on purpose, and I think it's very nice. So anyway, but that is all the time we have for this episode. If you would like to support me in my work, um, do please uh, check out the Patreon link. Also, if you wouldn't mind terribly much, I would appreciate it if you can automate that like button. 
and upgrade the subscribe button if you haven't already uh, to be notified of new videos and stuff. Uh, the way I use YouTube is like, I subscribe to a person and then I, I use that little hamburger menu on the upper left and I see when they have a new video. It's like, oh, okay, I have this many channels to watch and oh, I wanna watch, you know, Catherine of Sky today. Well, I don't usually watch myself, but uh, <laughs> I'll watch a different different channel, that kind of thing. And, um, and just, you know, do, uh, do good watching there. Oh, oh, I found a flaw in our design. Oh, we need to do a thing. Okay, we need to make this on both sides because right now one side is backed up. So if we do this, this kind of a splitter arrangement evenly puts stuff on both sides of the belt. Wait, does that matter? No, because it's only going to one side of the belt. Oh my God, my brain is dumb. But you can use that in other situations. You can, yes. Okay, anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.